Can y'all see us? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, now let me find it on, on YouTube so I can see the screen. We have to do this all weird because of where we are. Yeah. Okay, I don't see it. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's kind of low. Is it low? Yeah. Let me see if I've got a way to beef us up. Okay, I'm going to jiggle wiggle you. You ready? Hang on, yep. hang on, hang on. Did that help? No. no. That's a, that, look at you, Robert. There we go. Almost Yay. like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, Dave and Brandy. Hey, you guys. Aren't you guys at a brewery? Hello, Elliot and Matt. Hi. Donna. Hello, Donna. Let's see. Allison cruising with Cindy Hubner. Hello, hello. Huber. Huber. What I say? Hubner, because I kept adding oh. the end. It's... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Joshua. Hello. Leanne. Hello. Hey, Leanne. How Modern are you? Life. Hello. I got my shirt on. I got my shirt on. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, well, she's just, looking. Yeah. Let me get this out of the way. <laughs> if we miss your comment, we're very sorry. If I butcher a name, me especially. <laughs> very sorry, Cindy. Uh, yeah, Cindy. I, I butchered it last time. Um, Thank you, Cynthia. So we're hey, we're just kind of hanging out in the camper today. We're about to head over to the uh, festival that's going on that we went to yesterday, but we want to just kind of stop in. This will be a pretty quick live. Mm -hmm. Uh, so if we miss questions, uh, basically we're going to let a lot of the chat go. Y'all talk among yourselves, but if you ask a specific question to us, just tag us so I can see it, and then uh, we'll try and answer that as much as we can. We're going to let the chat fill up a little bit, and then we will go into some awesome, awesome plans we have. And it'll be cruise and camper plans. Yes. And I have to get a piece of paper and cover up my screen because I can see myself and it's driving me crazy. Okay, let's see. Spaz. Yes. So my uh, confetti collection. There we go. Here, you now, can pop that out and make it full size. Oh, I can? Yeah. Hold on while we get the technology thing going over here. Pop out chat. Oh, look at you, Mr. Fenwick. Oh. You can, you can move it yeah there you go oh, almost like I knew what I was doing thank you sir almost well you did know what you were doing you did it you did it hello Molly oh Molly is How watching you, Mom? you guys are so sweet about my hair thank you uh, yeah I it unfortunately I can't wait for you to see it in the vlog I mean that'll be like two vlogs from now because uh, Stitch Fix is coming in a vlog, Cause Box is coming in a vlog, and so much happened in like a short span that I, the vlogs got too long. And now we have camping on top of it, so I'm like, ah! So, anyway, um, but Su thank you. Thank you so much. Susan's been watching the Freedom Vlogs. Thank y'all. Awesome! Thank you! I've been watching the vlogs too, because I am so ready to cruise. Farrah Fawcett vibes. Yeah, you know what? It really is. And today I played with it. Like today I was flipping the curl, the, curl, the flat iron hey, around, Tyler. playing with it, trying to see what I wanted to do with it. I don't know. You know, your hairstylist always blows it out and it's like perfect. You can never do it again. Never replicate it. I don't <laughs> no. have that issue. It pretty much stays the same way for me. <laughs> I am his hairstylist. Yes. I have to remember where to look. Okay, you see over there. We have yes. to look there. Okay, I keep looking in the middle. So, oh, sorry. If you hear that, that's the air conditioner because it's Texas and it's hot. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> Hi, scrapbook book and mama. Hey, Dave. How are you? So, um. Fake Mountain Dew. H-E-B Citrus Rush. <laughs> Topo Chico. Topo Chico. The best. And y'all know my coffee's not too far. <laughs> anyway how are you guys doing today yep i hope that you're doing well um we are it's about to rain here but uh we're still going to go head on over to the festival like i said it's the magnolia festival mm -hmm. um and uh, this was the last minute camping trip that i talked to you about uh after the uh tankless water heater we had put in the camper if you have an RV and you camp where it gets hot, you know, it's fine in like the winter. Well, even still, you got to crank the heat on, otherwise you're freezing. Um, but I was concerned about 
um, all my hair and trying to have enough time to get all the shampoo out of my hair <laughs> and six gallons of hot water. Yes. And it, that was my biggest thing when we were looking at RVs is I really want a tankless water heater. Anyway, we finally did do it and um, really, really, really happy with it. Yes. It's been really nice. Yep. So anyway, so spoiler alert, you'll see that in the vlogs coming up. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Hi, so, Mary Ellen Dillon. Hi, Mary Ellen. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Uh, let's see. So, the first trip we have coming up. Oh, wait. Lisa's here. Hello, Lisa. And I... Okay, let's see. Stay in the green. Go pack. Yes. My yes. Texans are pack, just go. an absolute... Shh. Be nice. <laughs> Bill yeah. O'Brien burning... Uh, He's so, so mad. <laughs> I, I was born in Wisconsin, so I've been a Packer fan my whole life, and since the Texans are going to be just atrocious for the next 30 years, got to represent a good team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so some of you have guessed this, and we couldn't divulge anything until we had things solidified, um, and we finally do. Um, it was last minute and very, very expensive. Um, it wasn't last minute, it was the second day. No, no. D making the plans and everything had oh. been last minute. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Yeah. No. So, yeah. <laughs> no, as soon that was, yeah. So, yes, we are going to be sailing on... Adventure of the Seas out of Nassau on June 12th. But there's more to it than that. Yes. Uh, we actually booked that the second day they announced the sailings. Um, we were... Very excited about that. But we had some other things going on and we were working on, so we weren't ready to announce that yet. And then we are going to um, get there a little early and we're going to stay at Atlantis for three days. Yeah. Basically, if we're going to pay to fly to, to NASA, might as well enjoy it. <laughs> That's right, because it was painfully expensive to... Yes. Flight in Nassau. <laughs> yes. It literally, between the flights there and the flights home, wasn't it $1,200? I know we had miles. Yes. But without the miles, it, it was, was $1,200. It was very expensive. Yeah. So, um, you know, airlines took advantage of the fact that, for us Americans, the easiest cruise port for us to get to would be Nassau, and they were starting and opening up cruises, so therefore... <laughs> They were like, hey, let's make some of that lost money back, which, yes. fine. So, um, but yeah, we uh, thankfully had miles to yeah. get to Nassau and home. We did not, because yeah. we used them all to get there. Yes. <laughs> so. Thanks, Steve and Rob, Robin. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to get in on Wednesday, and the cruise leaves on Saturday, so that'll give us Wednesday night. Thursday, Friday, and then depending on how long we're uh, at the hotel Saturday morning before we get on the cru cruise ship. Yeah. So we're going to have a, a really good time. So yeah. really looking forward to that. Yes. And of course, you know, we will give you as much information as we can for being in Nassau because honestly, um, where are we going? What's it called? Atlantis. Atlantis, goodness, is very expensive. And we were looking at food. We've been looking, you know, because obviously I can't eat anything. So they have options for those who have gluten allergies and intolerances and that kind of thing. And they will work with you. However, the problem isn't that. The problem is for a burger is $25. And then it's more on top of it for the gluten-free options. And then the... Uh, fifteen percent automatic gratuity, yeah. and then I think it's like eighteen percent variable added tax or it's VAT. very expensive. It's expensive, so we're actually gonna fly a suitcase of food in there, mm -hmm. and then and stop. I'm gonna show you how to pack all that, and then uh, stop at the grocery store mm -hmm. on the way there. Yeah, um, because you guys, what reasonable person, especially if you go with your your you, your spouse, your partner, family. your kids. It's $200 for a meal. Uh, easily. Car Carl does make a valid point. He heard the burger was only twenty four ninety nine. <laughs> so, honestly, I've been watching videos on camping foods, on things like that, because I am very... We're going to have a kitchen in our hotel, um, and so I've been worried, and we've been looking at options. So, you know, 
it'll be interesting. So you'll be seeing videos coming up on that. Yes. Uh, Booze Cruise wanted to know where we're <gasps> going. David! Hi, we're, my friend! We're cruising on June 12th, Adventure of the Seas out of Nassau, but we're going to get there a few days early and stay at Atlantis for three days. Yeah. So um, I am, look, he has wanted to go to Atlantis for so long. And whenever we're in port, I mean, it's not yeah. long enough. Yeah, and then it's like $270 because it's one thirty five per person and you know you get six hours so it's like okay yeah so i'm so excited he was like okay he had no problem booking the cruise we were apprehensive at first and we feel much better now we are fully vaccinated yes um and so um we i was just like you know what let's just do it let's just go ahead we're gonna be there <laughs> But that's the reason we're only going to be in Nassau in uh, Atlantis for three days is because of the cost of food. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to well, do that and being off of work for well, yeah, it's hard to be off. Days. Yeah, I mean, there's that, but it's also the um, yes, yeah. favor on the water slide. Some of them. <laughs> now, nah, Helen, no, uh, where we're staying, it nothing is included. It's just um, it okay. actually has a kitchenette, so we're going to. And we'll announce where we're staying then. Yeah. Um, just for, you know. Yeah. So. So yeah. that's that's our first big adventure. And then what's the next big adventure? I sort of did a thing. And just real quick, I'm we're seeing as much of the chat as we can. I'm not answering everyone. I'm very sorry, Carl. I know Anne's answering some people's questions. Peter's here. Hi, Peter. Hello. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. Oh, Life in My Empty Nest is here. Hi. Um, Atlantis is an all all inclusive resort. Should you choose that option? But we're I not staying. I think it is. Should you choose it? You there are options where you can book, yeah. but that's not. We are staying. I don't. I don't think it's an all inclusive. It's not. No. I thought it. No, because it's it's just. Oh, that's right. Because the restaurants are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expensive. No, he's right. He's absolutely yeah. right. The um, and we are staying. And at an associated property. It's Harborside uh, Resort Atlantis, which is their timeshare. Oh, was I not supposed to say that? <laughs> it's okay. So we'll have our kitchen so we can cook our own meals and yeah. not spend $150 on dinner. Yeah, exactly. So um, anyway, but more on that when we're there. We are still in the planning process of that. So as you guys know, we were there when... Carnival came back to Texas uh, when the Vista and the Breeze came back to Texas. And it was an emotional, emotional, unbelievable day. Um, and so many of you were there to share in that with us. And it was an amazing live. Um, I still get emotional when I watch it. I know many of you. <laughs> yes, empty nest. <laughs> many of you do. Um, but um, yeah. So just a couple of days ago, Carnival announced that they would be indeed canceling their cruises in July out of most ports. Yep. And we had a cruise on the Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, which we have been chasing the Mardi Gras for over a year now. We were supposed to be on the inaugural September 26th one out of New York. Yeah, that one was canceled. Then we moved it, then we moved it, then we moved it. Um, yes, we know about Southwest. We will not be talking about Southwest. Urgh. Very frustration. Oh, we will not talk about that. Let us get the situation handled, and then we'll fill you in. Anyway, um, so you guys know what I'm going to say. Uh, since they canceled Mardi Gras, we were just, and we have it booked again for September. Um, we were like, okay. And then Carl went and did a thing, and I had FOMO. It's always Carl's fault. It's always Carl's fault. So I called Ronnie, and we were booked in for July. Now, we're booked in on a couple of the cruises in July because we are still working out details for work. Yeah. So, but we will be sailing in July on one of the ships out of Galveston yep. this year. As long as they still go through, we will be on one of those ships. Yep. Um, so, we are really excited about that. Are you kidding? We could not miss sailing out of our home port on one of those ships we I, I there was no way i could miss that and what solidified it is of course our cruising friends our best friends uh carl and donna booking a cruise we were like okay we have to go so anyway so we're very very excited about that and then after that we will be uh staying at a lake on a lake for a week 
uh, in the camper. Yep. Uh, very soon after that. <laughs> yes. Seriously, y'all, we're still trying to get all of this planned, but I know a lot of you have been asking, and we're like, we're trying. Hey, but, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Um, so, yeah. And then the cruises that we have remaining out of American ports uh, is, Car <laughs> yeah, is the Carnival Mardi Gras in September. Mm -hmm. And then we have two back-to-backs or side-by-sides. Side by side. MSC Maravilla and Symphony of the Seas. Yes. And those are in October. Yeah. Um, and so... And that's the last of the cruising we have for this year. And then we have a ton booked for next year. But I'm not talking about any of that because, goodness, <laughs> who knows what's going to be yeah. happening. So, And on top of that, uh, we're trying to do Big Ben. Oh, yes. We are trying to do Big Ben this summer. <laughs> yes. In our abundant spare time. <laughs> yeah. So that's why it's tricky for work is because all of this travel is long. <laughs> It's, it's extended. And yeah. so, yeah. Um, and many of you know our middle son works for us. Um, but he is about to graduate from college and go get a real job. And um, we're about to lose him. So we're like, oh, we had to get all this travel in as soon as we can. Yes, so, while we still have labor. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, we got to find somebody new. He's going to be very hard to replace. Yes. So, anyway. Um, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras. Yes. So, um, and uh, I'll give specific dates as we get closer because, you know, we just don't know. Are we sailing? Are we not? And I keep saying this to you mm -hmm. guys because I feel bad if you book for to be on a cruise for us and then we have to cancel. So it's, it's better if I don't give dates because I would feel horrible if we had to move something yeah. and you would book to be on it with us. So... Mm -hmm. You know, the only one we know for certain the date of is the Adventure of the Seas. Adventure of the Seas and Mardi Gras. I mean, and uh, Atlantis because we have to. Yes. So, uh, so, oh, something went away. November. Yay! It's Celebrity Equinox in August and Carnival Mardi Gras November. Catherine, that's awesome. We got to get on a celebrity ship. We also need to sail with uh, Bug. I mean, it's serious need to sail with bug was there something nasty no oh um so <laughs> anyway <laughs> so there you go so that's that's the plans um that's everything that's happening he's multitasking yeah sorry go pack up yes oh big bend bend big bend carl's asking what big bend is it is a state park in texas yes it's um Kind of on the west part of Texas, it's like nine hour drive from the outskirts of Houston, and it's massive. It's uh, huge, and it's right along the U.S. Mexico border, up against the Rio Grande River. Spectacular views, mountains, hills, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. So we wanted to, you know, adventure that way, but there's a lot of planning that needs to take place for that. Yeah, we'll have to see about that one, but yeah. that's just kind of in the. Uh, preliminary discussions yeah for later this year so and that's you know we have to have backup plans in place because cruising keeps getting postponed but good grief we've got to be sailing by october i hope so i mean yes <laughs> yes we were tempted to go on the prima the problem is that when it sails we can't yeah the the one sailing out of galveston on the prima is 11 days and that is the very me too tracy first 10 of it is the first weeks of november so it's like october 31st to november 10th or november 11th i don't remember uh and that's just impossible for me to do because of work uh, yeah but that looked awesome and yeah. uh i'm kind of looking forward to seeing i mean it's still a mega ship but a smaller mega ship i'm very curious to see what that looks like I'm excited for Symphony. So Cindy asks, have you two previously sailed on MSC? And if so, is the food, food good? <laughs> okay, Cindy, this is a loaded question. Um, yes, Elliot, we would consider a river cruise. Hold on, hold on. For me, the hold food... On. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, my goodness. I loved the food on Seaside. On Davina, I have developed a... 
anxiety because of the food on Davina. Yeah. The vlogs are up on the channel, both Davina and MSCC side. Um, if you can eat real food, the food is fantastic. Um, yeah. She had the best dining experience on the MSCC side and probably the worst on the MSC Davina. Yeah. But... It was bad on Davina. I don't know what happened. Um, it was the very last... And it had nothing to do with COVID at that point, but it was the very last cruise. The day cruising canceled was the day we disembarked the Davina. And we were supposed to get on the Magic that the next day. Um, so... They didn't have anything on the ship. They kept telling us, we don't have anything. We don't have this. We so it, thankfully it was just a three day cruise and we lived on steamed vegetables and chicken breast. So thankfully they had that. I had fantastic pizza. He really did. Fine. He he and Donna ate very well. Yes. But me and Carl. Did not. Did not. And, and yes, they we'll tried. See, we'll, we'll see Paro DJ on the uh Oh, yeah, yeah. On yeah. the uh, adventure. Very exciting. We haven't yeah. sailed with them in forever. So, um, yeah. But, and it, it was, they tried. They tried really hard. The gentleman who helped us was very, very nice. But it's, you know, when we were on the private island and we're walking around the private island and we went to get, we had to go back on the ship because you get hungry in the middle of the day. We went to go get back on the ship and... It was waiting, I think, an hour to eat, hour and a half or so, waiting for them to bring food because they, it was, that was upsetting. I didn't like that. Hi, Tabitha. Tabitha, hi. So now I have like an insecurity and, and anxiety uh, about Sailing Royal because, you know, I'm concerned that they're not going to have anything to feed me. Yes, Carl. So, what did Carl say? Oh, the pizza's so good, Don and Rob on the MSC Davina. Yes. Yes. Yes, Carl and I were gritting our teeth. <laughs> we were at the point of going, okay, I'll just be sick. Anyway. Good evening, but... Ulrich. Hello, hello. Um, Donna, <laughs> I will check the vlogs out. Yes. yes. Cindy, but if you can eat regular food, you're, you're fine. You're not going to have that worry. And like I said... They were so, so Tweety, hey! Thank they you. were so good to me on Seaside. Like, I, that's why we booked the Davina is me telling Carl over and over how fabulous the food was. Like, breads and baked, fresh baked goods on the, on, on the Seaside. And then here the Davina was... Very disappointing. A big letdown. Hi, so, Annie. Hi, Anne. Uh, let's see, Tracy. Um... So, just to recap, we're going to be at Adventure of the Seas on June 12th, and three days before that, we'll do Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Then after that, we're going to do Carnival out of Galveston, just haven't finalized that one yet, and then RVing up to Dallas for a week in July, and then Mardi Gras in September, and MSC Maravilla and Symphony of the Seas, if they're sailing out of uh, Florida. In October. In October. Let me tell you, you guys, that you would not believe what we paid for the Symphony of the Seas. You would not, seriously, we looked at this cruise, this cruise, yes. a year ago. Well, or two years ago. Two years ago. And it was like $3,500. And it was the exact same cruise we were taking on, we could have taken on the Harmony. Harmony but the Harmony was like half the price. So even, so we booked Harmony, uh, well, and then it was canceled. So, and then Harmony was going to be in Europe. So we were able to lift and shift from Harmony to Symphony, and um, probably yeah. two of the cheapest cruises we have is the Symphony of the Seas and the MSC Meraviglia. The Meraviglia was like eleven hundred dollars in a balcony. A, it's eleven fifty eight for a balcony. Yeah, and Symphony is like sixteen hundred for two on yes. the Symphony. We were like. Oh. Please don't cancel that cruise. Please don't cancel that yes. cruise. And we're on a ocean view balcony. So we were very, very excited. Yep. Nova Scotia, hello. That's right. awesome. Um, so hopefully the MSC you, Seashore, when it comes to us, I'm on her in October in the med. Oh, awesome, Ian. That sounds, Ian or Ian? Do you go by Ian or Ian? Um, and uh, that sounds awesome. Alex. Yeah, we, Alex, hey, Alex. 
Alexis. Oh, I see. Alexis. I'm sorry, you guys. I can't really see the screen. Um, yes, MSC yeah. confuses me with all their styles and different packs. Absolutely so, Tweety. Yes. Um, we spent some time reading and learning about all the different packages, but even with all of that, it still it gets confusing. Yes. Fantastica, and, Bella, yeah, Aurora. Yeah. Just give me my room. Just give me my room and don't make me have to go through all that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm Amanda, I'm ready for the vlogs too. I'm ready to be on the ship so I can bring you some vlogs. Yes. So yeah, it's been it's been kind of a crazy year. I mean trying to <laughs> putting it mildly. Yeah, trying to come up with, you know, how much can you vlog from your house? <laughs> or so, the camper. <laughs> or the yeah, the cam the camper was the best thing. I swear we love this thing. We absolutely love it. That's awesome, Angie. Deals are out there, yes. Oh, when you're six, wow. Yeah, yeah, Susan, we're actually waiting for Allura of the Seas yeah. to okay. come to uh, Galveston. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're, we're waiting for the ships to come here because, you know, yep. it's so much easier to <clears throat> sail out of Hey, Bell Belt, how are you? Bob, hi, my friend, how are you? Be birds. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, and yeah, you're kind of limited on itinerary out of I Galveston, but you're saving the airfare and the hotel and if you're renting a car or ubering and it's like so we yeah. can um just a lot cheaper that's why we probably need to move to florida mary ellen, yeah so we can uh cruise more right there you go no no mary ellen talking about no cruising deals especially when you pay double for for cruising solo yeah yeah ncl is your only bet really from what i understand yeah so Grab those solo cabins, and from what I understand, they sell out pretty quickly. So you really got to jump on them. Do early. they have windows? I mean, or balconies? The one we saw was was an interior. Interior. I mean, yeah, and that stinks. If you want a balcony, you got to pay double. I I get it to a certain extent, but then I don't. Find I, a friend. <laughs> yeah, but you know, car rentals. Yeah, car yes. car rentals are atrocious. You guys know we're going to be going and packing Grandma's condo here pretty soon, and the rental cars. So it was more than the flight. I mean, that's almost yes. more. Was it more? It was it more was, than it was the flight. More. It yeah. Was 277 for a midsize for three days. Yeah. And they're going up. So, um, yes. Yeah. Um, Elliot, yeah. We just want a cruise that goes to ports in the UK. Sailings are still not visiting ports. Yeah. And that's just it. Um, I'm hearing $2,400 for a solo cabin. Oh, my God. Hey, uh, Mary Ellen Dillon, Trace and Kirk, Kersey. Hey, they're in the same boat. <laughs> yes, move to Florida. <laughs> it's too hot in Florida. It's hot in here in Texas, but I'm sorry. Yes. It's worse in Florida. Y'all never get a break. At least we get a break here. Oh, rainy. Where is this? I can't. Wisconsin. Oh, okay. Yay. It looks like exclamation points, so I can't. Yep. Um, I live in Florida and fly to Seattle or L.A., or New York to cruise. I've done the Caribbean many, many times. It's convenient being so close to Port Everglades. Yeah. Yep. Texas Snowmageddon. And yes, Bob Belt, um, our big announcement was we're actually going to be on Adventure of the Seas out of Nassau and the Bahamas uh, June 12th. And we're going to get there three days early and do Atlantis. So that's the big I'm exciting excited. news. And then we're going to, we uh, going to cruise out of Galveston in July. And then we've got an RV trip coming up in July. And then Mardi Gras. Work? Who needs to work? <laughs> Mardi Gras in September. And then uh, in October, MSE, Maravilla, and Symphony of the Seas. Yeah. So that's it for the this year. <laughs> this year. Don't, oh, gosh. Next year is crazy. It's going to be crazy. Yes. So, but next year we get to meet new friends. We're so excited. Um, exactly so Tweety that's what I was trying to say <laughs> Tracy yeah. and Mary Ellen should be in the same cabin problem, problem solved, solved. <laughs> there you go here yes. you'll cruise with this complete stranger <laughs> uh, uh, we are actually yes, in, Col Peter, yes. in Columbus Texas in the RV we are camping this weekend mm -hmm. and um, we are about to head back to the Magnolia Festival which is just in uh, in town which is probably about a five minute drive away uh, we went by there last night. They will be in the vlogs. But he did say that there's more 
to do on Saturday, and there's live bands and yeah, we missed the Spasmatics last night. We yeah, which is an '80s cover band. Yeah, because it was we gotta go to bed. (laughs) Oh, and it's like started at nine thirty. Started at nine (laughs) thirty. And as we're laying in bed at 9.45 going, wow, the band would have just gone on 15 minutes ago (laughs) and we're already in bed. (laughs) So we missed that. Yes. So, and they won't be tonight. It's just country bands tonight. Um, But, um, so, you know, (laughs) we're excited about it. We're very excited about it. But, and where we are is like out in the middle of nowhere. So we have not, oh, listen, it's raining. Yeah. You hear it? So we have not had, oh, our neighbors think we're looking at them. <laughs> Sorry. So we've not had internet. It has been tricky. This is the best internet we have had since we've been here. So. Gross tons of Carnival cruise ships in June. What? I, uh, the Vista, I think, is 135. Oh. Um. No, Tyler, we can't stream at the festival because there's music playing and it's copyright. Um, also because it's, it, where it is, there's lots of kids yeah. and I don't like kids on. Yes, exactly. Somebody else's kids on. B. Bergs, yes. It was great, uh, hanging out with the Zinganos while we. That uh, really was, yeah. Live streamed the, We turned around and there they were. It was like, whoa. <laughs> so, um. Dave Smith, I was born in Wisconsin and this was just one of the shirts I threw in. I am a. The Packers are my second favorite team behind the Texans, but the Texans are just an absolute disgrace right now. So We have uh, Packer vlogs on the channel. Yes, we went to Lambeau Field. It was awesome. That was really, re- that was one of the neatest things we've done is touring that stadium. Thank you, Carl. I was trying to Google that and I just got hung up. Carl answered you. Who asked that question? Um, Y'all hear the rain? Where is it? I love the rain in the camper. It's such a soothing noise, sound. Go Seahawks. <laughs> Donna, yes. You'll enjoy meeting them. Yeah, I think the Zinganos are going to be on a lot of the cruises we're on coming up. Well, I mean, it's so much easier. What was that? Oh. Oh, okay. a, a notice came across my phone. Sorry. Um, thank you, Bob. Thank you so much. Yep. Um, it's. I totally lost my train of thought. I don't even know what I was talking about. Somebody tell me what I was talking about. I don't know. <laughs> yes, Mama 4, it's always raining when we camp. It is. Seriously. <laughs> or it's overcast, or it's windy, or it's cold. We went looking for a place to bike ride today. You guys, there are cows everywhere here. Yes. That is amazing. So, And donkeys and deer. We've been seeing them all. So, it's going to be fine, Beebergs. You haven't gone here since March. Yep. Oh my goodness, bee birds! You're gonna, you bet, you're gonna be just fine. I promise. Yep. I promise. Just wear your mask and keep your hand sanitizer with you, and yep. you'll be okay. We're flying next week for the first time too. Yes. So I, I understand. Since last March. Oh, Elliot! Yes, there are ducks. There's ducks. There's chickens, and there's these birds that we can't identify. I don't know if they're. I don't think they're turkeys, but they're something. They, they look like vultures because they have smooth heads. But they're not. Vultures. But they're not vultures. Yeah. Some sort of turkey. Maybe it's maybe it is a turkey. It looks like a turkey, but yeah, I thought waddles. turkeys had bigger feathers. Yeah. So I don't know. Cruise ships might be able to bypass Canada on their way to Alaska this year. Yeah, if they pass that, yeah. In the, in the Senate, it still has to go to the House and. Yeah, what's that law called? Well, it's the Jones, Jones Act, Act. But that's there's it. something else that's yeah more of an issue than the Jones Act. But wow. Um, yeah. But I want to go back to Canada. Yep, turkey vulture. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You'll see it on the vlogs, and y'all can tell me what it is. Because yeah. it was just, it's the weirdest looking bird. It's very bulbous, very round, and fast. And they were chasing each other. Yes. But there are ducks kind of over the pretty swans, and then the little white ducks um, that are over there. But they don't get in the water over here. And then there's Waldo. Is a cat. Is a cat who is adorable. He's very adorable. Um, he, Passenger Service Vessel Services Act. Thank you, Mary. I'm done. Yeah. You guys are so smart. Yep. Oh, happy birthday, Beebergs. Happy birthday. Yep. Um, hey, Beth Ann. How are you? Oh, my goodness, you guys. We have been nervous about, <laughs> about all of this and about all the travel. Yep. And 
you know, working the budget and making sure everything lines up in the budget. It's all good. It is. Making sure everything lines up and um, trying to get work figured out. So, you know, the date you know absolutely for sure is June 12th. And then we have we have a couple of bookings set up for July. It's just whichever one we can get work to cooperate with. So, Hi, Bonnie. So, um, hey, Bonnie. Hey, Beth Ann. Budget so. go boom. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it basically has. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just... And July did that. Had carnival. We were fine, but that those the cruises in July. Yeah. I could. I we just we could. I I could not miss me. I could not miss sailing out of Galveston. Galveston. Yep. When they first got. I mean, it's I, I, seriously. It's. Yeah. So I just went flying forward. Looking so, forward to it though. Yeah. How about them? All right, you guys. Well, that's everything. Yep. <laughs> So, Adventure of the Seas vlogs will be coming up at the end of June, and yep. some Atlantis vlogs before that. And, uh, we're and really... we will go live from Atlantis. We will go live from the ship. Y'all know that. We always go live once we're there. Um, cruising days in total, he's counting. Um, so, obviously, watch for those lives as when we are in, in where we're going to be. Um, and uh, So, 35 in total. Because it's five seven day cruises. Oh my God, excessive. <laughs> no. Anyway, all right, you guys. Thank you so so much for joining us today. Yep. And uh, if you're new, welcome. Please subscribe before you go. I'd sure appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, we're excited. Yes. Join us. That way you can see the vlogs as they come out. And you guys, thank you so much for your support this last year and watching the home vlogs and. Yep. You know, all that stuff. I do have a uh, Amazon vlog coming up for cruise wear because you guys have asked me and asked me and asked me for cruise wear and cruising canceled as soon as I had a video ready. So it's like, yes. okay, so now I'm doing it. So thank you so much for joining us and we will see you next well, time. Well, you had that basic economy video. Yeah, I have two actually. Sat, sitting there for like six months, and you're like, well, no one's flying, so no sense yeah, putting no this sense up. Yeah, no sense putting it up. Thank you all so much for joining us. I appreciate it. We appreciate everyone for taking a little bit of time out of their day, and yeah. I hope you all have a great one. Yep, yeah. and we will see you next time. Thanks, yeah. Mods, for coming. I appreciate it. Thanks, Elliot. Thanks, uh, uh, Dave and Brandy and Carl and Donna and... Everyone. David and everyone for coming, and Matt. Uh, ba- <laughs> yeah, I can't talk. Bob Belt, that's what I was Bob. trying to get out of my mouth. Bye, you guys. Everyone, thank you Everyone, so much. Everyone, thank you, yes. How do I, how do I stop it? X? <laughs>